So the Florida Panthers today have announced that they have signed Joe Thornton to a one-year deal worth seven hundred and fifty thousand. And Jumbo Joe, he just keeps on trucking, man. At forty-two years of age, he's not giving up on his Stanley Cup dream yet. He's going to a team in the Florida Panthers who very well may contend for a Stanley Cup this season. I had a feeling Thornton would not re-sign in Toronto after the season was over, but I didn't know if he was going to retire or not. I had a feeling, and I've had this feeling the last couple of years that everyone's been saying he's going to retire and stuff. Well, my feeling's been totally different. I've always felt that he's going to sign somewhere, sign with a cup contending team. I think he's really chasing a cup now. Hence him taking league minimum. I think he's willing to play for free pretty much now if he had to uh, in order to win a Stanley Cup. So I really hope Joe Thornton and the Florida Panthers do something great this year. And if my team, the Ottawa Senators, don't make the playoffs this year, I'm going to have to cheer for Joe Thornton and his Florida Panthers. I mean, it's just... You know, it would be a great story if he was to win. I don't know, maybe it's too early to call them his Florida Panthers, but nonetheless, I will be cheering for them in the playoffs if that's the case. And what role will Thornton provide for the Florida Panthers? I mean, last year we were talking a lot, he's going to ride shotgun with Matthews and Marner. This year, you know, what is it? Is he going to be a top six guy? More than likely not. He's probably going to be a bottom six guy for sure. More than likely on the fourth line, maybe fourth line center. And you can say what you want about Thornton, like, oh, he can't skate, he's getting too old. Yeah, he isn't the most fleet of foot nowadays, but with that being said, he's still a very effective option, and if he's on your fourth line, you're doing something right. And if you're Florida, maybe you have a fourth line of, like, Joe Thornton centering, you know, Mason Marchman and Ryan Lomberg, perhaps. Those two guys, Marchman and Lomberg, were pretty effective for Florida last year, especially in the playoffs, I thought they were. So if you put a great veteran who's been there before, like Thornton, with them, who knows, those guys could really take off in their careers as well. So those are my thoughts on the Joe Thornton signing. Please let me know what you all think in the comments down below. Also, don't forget to like and subscribe and share this video. Thank you all so much for watching and I'll talk to you again soon.